Well, we always love it when tonight's comedian can drop by. As both a dad and a former teacher, I mean, he had to have a sense of humor. His latest dry bar comedy special, perfectly titled, Fine Dining and Utter Nonsense. Please welcome back to the show, Chad Thornsberry. Hello, oh, thank you. I, it's great to be here. I appreciate you having me back. Everything. Um, here's what I don't like about Tennessee. I know I only have six minutes. We just got to jump right into it. I'm sorry. I don't have time to set it up. But I don't, I've been through here in the summer before. And I come from Missouri. I have the same hot summers you guys get. I get it. So I have no issue with your weather. But I've got a big problem with your weather men. Because he talks to me on the TV like I'm an idiot, like I don't understand how things work, like heat index, like that's just beyond my grasp of understanding. Well, tomorrow, it's going to be 92, but it's going to feel like it's 104. <laughs> then it's 104. <laughs> Anybody really lost on that one, really? That's not that tough to follow. Well, this is what it is. This is what it really is. This, this is what it could be. It doesn't even make sense. That'd be like your wife coming up to be like, hey, tonight I'm going to give you a back massage, but it's going to feel like I'm kicking you right in the face. <laughs> you ready? No, actually, I'm not. I don't like that balcony up there. I don't care for that. At all. I'm always afraid like I'm working with a balcony like the two old guys from the Muppets are going to be up there screaming <laughs> things at me. If anybody in the crowd or on TV is watching is under 30, you might want to take a second and have somebody explain that one to you. <laughs> it's all right. But that's what I enjoy, the, kind of the outdated, old, backwards kind of references. But when nobody gets the reference you're trying to make, you just look like an idiot, you know? I play on a slow-pitch softball team. We have a guy on our team that will make every obvious reference, like a guy yaks a home run. He goes, oh, Bonds, McGuire, just very obvious things. A fight broke out one time because it's slow pitch softball and that's what happens when you give grown men bats. <laughs> and like a fight broke out and it's like, oh, watch this guy, he's fighting like Jackie Chan. This guy's sneaking up on you like Jackie Chan. This guy's kicking you like Jackie Chan. Like you can't think of one other guy. <laughs> that's your complete frame of reference. But I like the obscure things. I'm walking out of a public library one time and uh, there's a kid sitting down on the sidewalk and he's smoking. As I pass him, he flips a cigarette and it hits me. And so I pick it up and chuck it back at him because I'm a mature adult that way. And he stands up, he's got this long stringy hair. I'm like, you better sit down, Kenny G. And he goes, who's Kenny G? I'm like, you know, Kenny G plays soprano saxophone. I'm like, what's a soprano saxophone? Like, you want to fight Jackie Chan? My wife traveled with me tonight, that's great, that's fun. You know, when I travel by myself and I will get home, uh, she will have a meal waiting for me when I hit the door because I don't get to eat that way when I'm on the road. It's like a very comfort food, like homemade kind of thing. That's great because she's a wonderful person. If something happens with my flight and it gets delayed and something happens, she has to go to bed, you know, before I'm there, she will wrap it up and have it sitting on the stove waiting for me because she is a better person than I deserve. She will even ask me what I want and I get to pick. And sometimes I get that answer wrong. <laughs> I don't even have a joke about that. I just like saying and watching all the young guys in the crowd go, what in the world is he talking about? And all the old married guys go, I know what he's saying. <laughs> Not that. This is the fun part of life for me. This is what I get to enjoy. You know, it's, Life, life happens out there like it does for everybody else. I got a call before I left home from a MasterCard. They said, we need to speak to Mr. Thornsberry. I said, this is he. He said, we called to report some unusual activity on your account. I said, really, what happened? And he said, someone made a payment. <laughs> I'm just glad you guys get that joke. That makes me feel very comfortable. You have restored my faith in Tennessee. 
because the last time I was here, I live about seven hours away, and I'm talking to a guy. He goes, are you driving home? I said, yeah. He said, how far of a drive is? I said, it's about seven hours. He goes, oh, that's okay. It's daylight savings time. You'll pick up an hour. <laughs> but it's still a seven-hour drive. <laughs> it's not like at 2 a.m. I'm catapulted 80 miles down the road. <laughs> that's not the way that works. We had to get the security system because I'm gone all the time and when my wife travels, we want to make sure our home's protected. And so we got the security system, but it was installed while I was on the road. So when I got back, um, the first night I was in bed, I was like, oh, I forgot to set the security system. And my wife goes, that's okay, we don't need it when you're here. And I said, well, I would like to be protected too, if that's okay. <laughs> She goes, no, but when you're here, I feel safe. And I love the fact that I make her feel that way, but I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I had a major leg surgery a few years ago. It really hampers my mobility, the way I can move. A year to the day after that, I had a lung surgery and I can't turn from side to side the way most people can. I'm about 30 pounds overweight, which I have no excuse for whatsoever. I don't know if you can see the thickness of the glasses that I have on tonight, but these are not worn for cosmetic reasons. <laughs> and just to add this on there, I'm deaf in my left ear. So if something happens in the middle of the night and I have to go out there, I'm gonna stumble out in the kitchen being blind and deaf and fat and crippled. <laughs> I don't know who she thinks I'm gonna be fighting off if I run into somebody. What am I supposed to say? Like, oh, you wanna fight Jackie Chan? You guys have been a lot of fun. I appreciate you having me back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, hey, Chad, welcome back. Thank you. Thank great you having me. you. Oh, it's on Thank fun. you for it's being here. Oh, it's on great. It's on By the great. way, Jackie Chan is out in the parking lot. He'd like to talk to you. <laughs> I would love that one. <laughs> By the way, to see Chad Thornsbury's tour dates and videos, including his two hilarious dry bar comedy specials, if you go to Huckabee.tv, we will connect you to Chad. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Since you made it here to the end, that must mean you like the video. So you might as well subscribe and hit that notification bell below. But if you really hated it, just click the like button three times.